Klop. Klop. Do it like this, like this. Klop. Klop. Welcome to Fact or Fishy with Sea Harvest, where we'll be unpacking some frequently asked questions and myths with the help of an expert. Could be one, it could be two, it could be 20, but who knows? I don't know, but I am Devin, your captain, bringing you the facts from the sea for you to see. A common question you might find yourself asking is whether buying fresh or frozen food is better. Fresh versus frozen food. At some point you might have caught yourself wondering about the overall goodness of frozen fish compared to fresh fish. Or in general, frozen food versus fresh food. Is frozen as nutritious and delicious? Joining me right now is an expert with nearly 20 years experience in the fishing industry and he is the group commercial manager for Sea Harvest. Jacques Stewart, good afternoon, welcome. Good afternoon and thank you very much for having me here. It's a pleasure to have you here on Fact or Fishy with Sea Harvest. Now Jacques, I stalked you online, right? You, it says you're passionate about food. 100%, you can see from the looks <laughs> and the mere fact that I've been in the fishing industry for 20 years just shows where the real passion and, and drive is in life. Of course, of course. Now I've got a question for you. Does frozen fish uh, taste any different when cooked compared to fresh fish? That's a very good question. To answer your question, there's absolutely no difference between frozen fish and fresh fish, provided that the fresh fish is of the same quality as it is post-freezing. It's important that you cook it according to those cooking instructions provided, because that way you will ensure that the product always deliver on taste for what it was designed for. Amazing, amazing. You, you mentioned uh, um, instruction. What I want to know from you, what is the perfect uh, freezing temperature for fish? The perfect frozen temperature for fish is when the core temperature is at minus 18 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, there is no microbial activity, which means the, the product itself won't spoil and the quality of the product is locked in so much information that you literally just shared and I think my mom will appreciate the next question. Is there a limit to how long um, fish can be kept frozen? When it comes to fish really and specifically on hake, based on the manner that we do freeze the product ourselves while processing it, the product has got a shelf life of, mine of 18 months. It is best to consume product that you've purchased from a retail outlet within three to six months. And there you heard it now, mom. You heard it from an expert. Yes, 18 months. Man has 20 years experience in the fishing industry. Jacques Stewart, thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you very much for having me. And it's a great that we can share what we do at Sea Overs with everyone out there. Let's ask the public some easy general knowledge questions around fish. Come, let's go. Can you tell me what's the national fish of South Africa? Oh my gosh. The koi fish? Koi? Did you, did, you, did you know that or did you get it? No, I think I knew that. She knew the koi fish. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say tuna. Tuna? Yeah. Nice. Did you know that? No, I took a guess. Oh, isn't it Kabul Joe? The what? <laughs> Kabul Joe? Now it's the koi. Isn't that the song? <laughs> oh, that song. Uh, Kabuyo. Kabuyo. Everybody's going with Kabuyo. Kabuyo yo. <laughs> what is the national fish of South Africa? Khulyun. What? I don't know, dude. <laughs> you said Paul Yoon. It's a Khuyun. It's a Can you spell the word octopus for me? Oh, you can do this. Um, O C T U P U S. Liquor, liquor, liquor. O C T U P O U S. Octo, oct, octopus. Yeah. O C T O P U S. Octopus, yes, you're making me doubt myself. <laughs> Can you spell C? S E A. Can you spell harvest? M H A R V E S T. Yes! Look at this boy, man. Oh my gosh. You're on fire. 
Man, these answers, what? Let's just get back to studio. And joining via video call right now, it's the marketing manager for McCain, Katarina Bester. Thanks for having me. Welcome, welcome to Fact or Fishy with Sea Harvest. Now, I'm gonna ask you a question, but before I ask you this question, I'm gonna tell you my answer. My answer is, I don't know. What I want to know from you, because seeing that you are the expert, I want to know, frozen food, does it still contain all its nutrients? Yes, absolutely. Freezing meals is one of the best ways that you can uh, utilize to lock in your nutrients. Um, so uh, especially the way we do uh, frozen uh, veggies at McCain or freezing uh, fish uh, the way Sea Harvest does it, which is quick individually frozen uh, uh, food manufacturing processes. It is an absolutely wonderful way for locking in those nutrients in your food. Thank you for clearing that up because in my mind, I'm thinking maybe, you know, frozen food, the nutrients get sucked up. But now, does frozen food contain any preservatives? No, not. McCain certainly does not uh, contain any preservatives and that's the beauty of, of what we call IQF or individually quick frozen processing is that it is really nature's pause button. We take that farm fresh vegetable off the field it arrives at our factory we process it and when we say we process it what we mean is we cut it or we dice it um, uh, or we make it into beautiful broccoli florets or cauliflower fl florets and it gets blanched and then it goes into that quick frozen um, uh, process where we basically within a couple of seconds freeze it and bring down the core temperature frozen um, in the in a controlled environment with with individually quick frozen practices is really a way for us to stop it dead in its tracks as it comes off the field and it's frozen basically in that state and it's kept in limbo basically until you take it out of the freezer and you put it in your pan. I like what you said there, it's nature's way of pausing it. So now I know I can take it out of the freezer onto the pan and just press play. Now, I want to know from you, what are the benefits of freezing food? So besides it basically putting a pause on that degradation uh, process that naturally happens. The other one is that it's really convenient. Um, you now can do easier meal planning, you can do better portioning, um, and it ends up being less waste. And, uh, and for me as a mom, that is probably the the biggest benefit when I cook with frozen, when you switch to frozen, you have that option to only use half a packet and you put it back in the freezer and it's gonna be just as good uh, the next time when you, when you take it out. That is some insightful information there. Frozen food makes planning my diet so much easier. Katarina Bester, thank you so much for joining us here today on Fact or Fishy with Sea Harvest. Oh, thank you so much. I had so much fun and thanks for having me. It's been, it's been a pleasure. In the battle of fresh versus frozen, it's a tie. Enjoy your frozen fish with all the fresh benefits and more. But before you go, it's time for a little did you know? Did you know that eating fish can boost your child's brain power? Omega-3 fatty acids contribute to improving brain functionality and development as well as naturally easing symptoms of ADHD. Ooh, and that left me hungry for more facts. We'll be back with a new video soon. In the meantime, check out some delicious and easy recipes on Sea Harvest's YouTube channel. Whoa, that looks divine.